Okay, today's video is going to be about making a sound. And you are going to need to set up just like you did in the previous video. And I want you to take some time right now. You can pause the video. You want yours to look just like this. Okay, so pause your video so I can stay, you know, you can make me go stationary for a minute. And check your mouthpiece to make sure it's exactly like mine. Okay, with the barrel. Go ahead and do that. All right, now hopefully by now you've paused. And this should be exactly like mine. Okay, double check again. Okay, ligature is low. All right. So, making a sound on the clarinet. I'm going to give you a couple different things to, to do, and, and you should practice this tons and tons, because if you can make a sound right away, that's just going to make your life easier. So first, I want you to say the word va. Va. Okay, go ahead and try that. Va. Now notice, when I say va, <laughs> I got my teeth, and I got my lip right here. My lip, sorry. <laughs> what I need to do is I'm going to put, be putting the clarinet in here, but my lip right here needs to be a little bit firmer. So it's kind of like eh, I'm putting on chapstick or something. Okay. So this is pretty tight. It's pretty firm. And I'm going to take my mouthpiece now. I'm going to put the reed on my bottom lip. Okay. So it's facing down towards the floor. I'm going to put my top teeth up. Uh, there it is. Not very far. I'm going down like maybe that far. Okay, that's where my teeth are going to go. All right. My bottom lip. Oops, it slipped up in there. Now I want you to take a look at my angle. So I'm not going like this. I'm not going like this. It's not going to be, this doesn't touch my chin. You should push it away just a little bit, okay? So it's about, a, I mean, if you're a math person, it's about 45, ang 45 degrees. Um, so there's that, flat. Now I'm gonna seal, ar seal around. I'm gonna do this a couple times, you should too. I know you're gonna wanna make noise. You will make noise, hang on. So do this. Now my teeth are right here, and then I'm sealing around. And then of course you're gonna start blowing. You might already have started blowing already. So this makes your sound. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the sound. When you blow, it should make a sound. But what if it doesn't? Or what if it squeaks? Well, I can tell you probably why it's squeaking is you have too much mouth on the mouthpiece. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit loud. But as soon as my lip goes way down, that's my telltale sign that you've got too much mouthpiece in. Again, right there. Okay. Maybe your reed is not in the right spot. Maybe you thought it was and maybe it slipped. So double check that. If the reed's too high, no air will go through. If the reed's too low, all the air will go through and it won't vibrate the reed. Okay, so some people don't blow enough air because you're not you're not used to this. This feels really funny. It's it's supposed to be. I mean, this isn't you don't normally do this. So don't be afraid to take in a bunch of air and then blow it all into there. It's kind of like um, blowing into a straw. Okay, so. Okay, now I'm doing something with my sound that you may or may not have noticed already. Um, oh, I'm sorry, We've, I've got to back up one little step here. I looked at my notes over here. My, my pitch, my sound is very, very high, and you're going to try to match my sound. So once you get a sound going, and if you don't have a sound going, by the way, Pause the video, take some time, you know, 
if I'm around, come ask me questions. Um, but for right now, make, make your sound. And we're going to do something um, to bring your pitch up because it's very important that your pitch is correct, that you're matching mine. And uh, it's, it's the word ya. Yeah. Ya, 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 ya. So on my clarinet, while I'm blowing, I'm going to go ya, ya, ya. That sounds kind of funny. So when you're doing the ya, ya, you actually want the highest sound that you can get. And you notice when I'm doing the higher sound, did you notice my face, how it's kind of set in place? And when it's the lower sound, I'm letting the corners of my mouth kind of relax and droop like that. Okay, so we need the muscles. I'm making sure I'm showing you right. We need these muscles to be engaged. They need to be doing something so that it gets the pitch up. And you might try that going back and forth the right and the wrong way. Sometimes knowing the wrong way really helps with the right way. So relax your muscles. Okay, go back and forth so that you can find that sweet spot where it sounds correct. Okay, pause the video, take a minute to do that, because then I have to teach you something new, and if you don't have that part right, then moving on really isn't going to help. So go ahead and pause it. All right. Okay, so find that sweet spot. You're going to repeat after me a couple of sounds, and then I'm going to teach you the new thing. So here we go. You just play back to the video, okay? I know it's not live. I can't hear what you're doing, but this is just practice, okay? So I'll play a sound, and then you play a sound and see if it matches. Try it. Should be a really high note. Bum. Okay, I'm going to do mine again, see if yours matched. Go ahead. Match that sound right there. All right. Now, there's the one more thing I need to teach you on this video is that the beginning of the sound needs like a like not really a maybe an edge to it, but like a starting sound. And that starting sound is going to be what we call tonguing, and tonguing starts with the letter T. So we're going to use T, the letter T. Um, to show you how to do this. This is a little bit new for me. I'm trying it. Um, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to put your mouthpiece in your mouth and you're going to smile at me. And you're going to say T. Not with your voice, but with your air. I'm doing that right against the reed, the tip of my tongue, right on the tip of the reed. I'm saying now my tongue looks like it's all blobby and everything but I can tell you that the tip really is all it's touching this you don't need to go uh. <laughs> okay that's too much so just that and my tongue pulls away okay try that a couple times now that's not how you play the clarinet because you notice I didn't make any sound except for the t so you're going to practice this back and forth. And again, please take the time to do this. Okay, so you're going to go two, t, and then two, t. I'll show you. So you could hear that I was airing the the t, okay? So you can play that out loud instead of just airing it, but just if you can do it without playing it first, that's going to help you. So now if, it, if I were to play it, okay? 
Okay, that middle one was bad. Sorry about that. So you want the beginning of your sound, the beginning of the, the tone that's coming out of your instrument to have that t. Okay, that is very, very important as a woodwind player. It makes your sound much more clear. If you just blow into the instrument without doing that, um, you're going to get more squeaks and squawks. And as you progress, you're not going to sound as good as everybody else. And of course, you know, who wants to sound bad if you're playing an instrument? That's not the point. So practice that over and over. I'm going to play some. So you can pause it, of course, and, and practice some, which you should do. And then when you come back, we'll do some rhythms. Okay, hopefully you've paused and practiced and you are brilliant uh, doing the t, uh, the t sound. And I'm going to do straight on rhythms. I'm not going to do the t, 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 t thing. I'm just going to play it and every sound that comes out of my instrument is going to have that t in front of it. Okay, so listen. Try that. Okay, try this one. Okay, you try it. Ready? Go. Okay, so once you've mastered that, you are now producing the correct sound on this. And our next step, of course, is to add the entire instrument. The next video, of course. But remember that really your instrument is this. The rest, the rest of it is just what projects your sound out into the world, okay, and changes the notes. So be the master of this first, and then start going to the next part. Okay, see you in the next video.